Hi, I'm Melanie Shelley for Trim Classic Barber and Legendary Beauty. Today we're going to learn how to do a nighttime eye. These are the tools you'll need. A flat angle brush, very thin. A detailing brush, fluffy but pointed at the end. A flat eyeshadow brush. And a medium sized fluffy eyeshadow brush. You'll also need mascara, preferably waterproof and a dark brown liner. In addition, you'll need two deep toned matte shadows, a concealer palette, a black liquid eyeliner pot, and light shimmery makeup palettes. The most exciting part about doing a nighttime eye is creating the play between light and shadows. So on Danielle today, we're going to start with a very light, shimmery gold right on the lid. I like to make sure that there's a lot of brightness and lightness inside of it so that when we add depth with our other layers, it really pops. I'm applying the gold only to Danielle's lid as there will be other layers in the corner of the eye and also in the crease. Next, use your detailing brush. Lift up the brow and start at the beginning of the eye and create a half moon in the crease. I'm using a deep toned brown with a matte texture. If I use sparkle in one area, I like to use mattes in the next area. That way we create a little bit more dimension. Make sure you stop before you round the edge of the eye. Everything wants to go upwards and outwards and you don't want the eye to look bogged down. Create a small V at the corner of the eye. What you want is to have a half moon leading into a V that sweeps back towards the middle of the eye. But you leave all this open and light and all this becomes darker and deeper. Using a Q-tip, I'm going to continue the drama around the bottom of the eye. Gently buff about a quarter to halfway across the eye with a darker shade. Make sure that it connects at the corner to the top drama. Using the same light tone as you used on the eyelid, sweep the eyeshadow across to the middle of the eye and you'll meet the dark and the light right about center. Then buff until it becomes impossible to tell where one ends and the other begins. Now to finish the drama, we're going to highlight directly under the brow bone the very pale gold with a lot of shimmer. So we have shimmer, matte, and shimmer again. Now, for a real pop at the very end, what you want to do is put a highlight right here and right here, just a dot on the inside of the nose bone. You want to use your lightest gold with the shimmer and a little pop of white in, within it. Place it there. and then blend with a Q-tip until it blends with the rest of the skin tone. To give a really feline look to an already beautiful nighttime eye, you're going to want to use a very soft eyeliner right along the rim of the eye. Make sure to continue it down into the eye for an almost Egyptian effect. And of course, always finish with mascara. I'm Melanie Shelley. Thanks for joining me to learn how to do a nighttime eye.